Jamie Lynn from Heartfelt Horsemanship. We have Chick Flick here with Gareth. Chick Flick has gotten into some trouble under saddle before, though she's done some successful endurance rides. Um, she's had a few um, issues and things come up, some trauma. Um, so Gareth is just hopping on her after I've spent the morning with her. And as I'm handing her over to Gareth to do a, a nice ride on her, um, I'm just thinking how important it would be for you guys to hear about horses with short flight paths and long flight paths. When you see most of our horses, our horses generally have a pretty short flight path, you know, so they might have a little bit of spook and they take three or four steps and they turn around and face whatever they were afraid of and then they're fine. Um, this particular horse has a lot of anxiety um, and we're working through that anxiety and she's just sort of kind of come out of a, a shutdown state um, and is coming out of her shell. Um, she's also, you know, a half Arabian, half Appaloosa endurance horse with a very long flight path. And so the reason why I think it's important to, to note this is when something gives her a fright, that head stays up longer, she stays in flight mode longer. And actually when she wants to spook, her feet want to move or need to move farther for her to find a safe place to stop and assess if she still needs to be in flight mode. So my advice to Gareth, uh, because this horse has done some bucking and some, you know, some other things, and I think what got her in trouble is someone tried to shut that flight path in half. So my advice to Gareth today is to have nice, slow hands. So when we're teaching you guys the one rein stop, you know, if you've had me teach you, I'll tell you to lift, slide down, bend, close your fingers slowly, and pretend like you're on Valium. With this horse, that is the most important thing that Gareth can do for her today, because I can't guarantee she's not going to have a bit of a fright, but I can guarantee that she's not going to run off bucking and, and carrying on if Gareth doesn't pull on his reins quickly. If Gareth goes nice and slow with his hands, make sure that he stops with his seat first in that one rein stop, takes that disengagement and, and bends her nice and slowly, puts his leg on like a gentleman, this little horse is going to have a nice response. Even if it feels like she's going to kind of rock it out from underneath him, if he just goes with her, pretends that he's on Valium and has nice slow hands, I think he's going to have this little filly stopping off of her seat in this first ride. Food for thought.